Yo, what is good, everybody on YouTube? I am Lace Blueprint, bringing y'all yet another video, bro. If you are new to the channel, man, please hit that subscribe button, like button to stay tuned with each every each and every new video that I drop. Had a brain lag for a second, but yeah, man, today we were. I was today. I had an intention to, you know, go ahead and give y'all the. Uh, review on the Cardinal 3s, but you know, something else then came through and it's been going through the news like crazy. So, you know, I had to go ahead and, you know, and, and drop that thing. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, I had to go ahead. <laughs> but anyway, we're going ahead and switch these out, man. I'm going ahead and hit the little magistrate so y'all can see what we got in today. If you haven't read about a title, of course, but anyway, here we go. And blam, there it go, man. So we have the UNC Air Jordan. If you don't know the box by now, man, we have the Air Jordan 6 UNC. Let's get right into this review. Let's get it. As of lately, man, I don't know how, but I've been getting blessed with sneakers up. They've been blessing me with some early pickups. So I was able to pick these up via sneakers on my app. My little brother also hit two. Shouts out to him. But these are set, were set to release on uh, March 3rd. Yeah, it's set to release on March 3rd. As of right now, it's up in the air. They've been saying that they won't be dropping any more of these on the Sneakers app. So who knows when and who knows where these will be dropping, man. We don't know. I should I suggest checking all your foot site stores. I believe uh, JD Sports and the Galleria were doing a in-store raffle only on these, man. But go do your footwork if you need to go cop these. But let's get right into this review, shall we? Starting off with the box, like we always do, you have the UNC blue with the white jump man up top. Going all around the box, you have the concrete or the paint splatter uh, all around the box, just like a Jordan 4 would do on the bottom. Going towards your sizing label, size label reads Air Jordan 6 Retro, University Blue, White, Black, size 11, men's personal pair. Inside the box, you're gonna see the uh, quality control sticker and also the blue stamp on the corner of the box as well for quality control. Also, Jordan Brand did give us the paint splatter paper to go with this shoe off as well. With this Air Jordan 6 colorway, we're gonna start from the bottom like we always do. You see, you instantly see that translucent baby blue colorway with the also baby blue Jordan Jumpman to white traction pad as well. Moving up to the white midsole, beautiful, beautiful white midsole. A lot of people, a lot of people think this is a dark navy blue. I believe it's a black just because it matches with this back tab as well, but I might be wrong. If it was a navy blue, it's a it's the deepest tone of navy blue it possibly could be. But moving on, we do have the baby blue hits on the mid panels of the six and also the toe box and even on the lace locket or the lace, I don't know, patch, I will say. This baby blue is absolutely my favorite color on this shoe, man. It pops out the most. It's just an eye-catching colorway. To the back tab of this Jordan 6, you have the, the Jordan-inspired tab that they've been putting on all of the collegiate colorways that they uh, do, just like the Oregon Duck 6s, just like the Oregon 5s that they did. Uh, a bunch of a bunch of college colorways. Though they did a lot of other colorways with the collegiate inspired colors i feel as though this one is going to be the most sought after, sought after just because jordan actually went to unc so this one is going to be a banger just to grab off the, off the cuff of that moving on to the inner panel of the shoe you see the same thing translucent midsole black or and or navy blue however you want to call it on the on the pad as well also on the back tab of this you see the wing or the pull tab of the of the heel it has that blue strip going across the top. Very nice hit from Jordan Brand. This is probably my, my one favorite part about the Jordan 6s is just that, that wing, man. That shit is you know, it's fire to me. Moving towards the tongue of the shoe, you do have that suede, that nice little kick back on the toe, also all around the kick. Moving towards the tongue, got the black or I think it's a, yeah, it's a black. Had the black tongue going with the white laces. Moving up towards the baby blue and navy patch for the laces to go tuck under. Jordan also gave us a navy blue and white lace lock with this translucent tongue like at the top. This is crazy. Especially with having that Jordan 7 inspired colorway going towards the top of the shoe and inside the, the, the tongue as well. And also it looks like they covered it. They covered that same pattern on the insole as well. I'm just going to take that out. On the insole of the shoe, you do have that same color pattern of the seven pattern on here, which is amazing. That's that's a nice touch from Jordan Brand. They gave you the 
metallic or they gave you like a silver or gray jump man on the insole like flipping it over no glue uh taking a further look inside of the shoe it looks like they actually gave us some og stuff with giving us a cardboard insert instead of like a, a, a regular base like they usually do so you see the stamp you see the serial number stamp at the bottom of it as well these are crazy okay that's different I do have to say I really, really, really like the touch of this insole that they did for the Jordans for this UNC colorway. I don't think they did it for anything else, but this is dope. This is really dope. Damn. Uh, overall, the build quality issue is damn near immaculate. I'm going to give you all another 360 view of this kick, and I'm going to jump back in front of the camera and out the review. all right so to wrap up this video man my final thoughts on this shoe this shoe is a dope colorway amazing execution but they did drop the ball on sunspots this is like the the jordan team or the jordan inspiration uh tab on the back they should have been nike air it should have went inside the insole right there where the jump man is there's a lot of things they should have did differently that they could have added more value to the shoe and even add a little bit more price if they wanted to. You know, they bought the money. So, but that is it. That's all of my thoughts and complaints about this shoe, man. Other than that, and that is it for the video, man. If you like the video, please leave a like down below. It helped me with the algorithm. Also, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned with each and every new video that I drop because I do have another one on the way. But that's it for today. I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank y'all. Peace.